Hey, how are you? I'm Slice of Otaku, and if you somehow don't know already, the Dragon Ball Super anime will be coming to an end in April with episode 131. And so with this video, rather than discussing why this may be happening or being in denial of the facts, because yeah, this is confirmed factual information, we're going to look forward to the future of Dragon Ball anime and the community which surrounds it, which is us by the way. So first and foremost, to calm the widespread unrest and sadness this news has induced, let's talk about hope. Now by no means is what I am about to say definite nor is there any current word out there setting it in stone. Personally, I have no doubt that Dragon Ball will return in anime form in either 2019 or beyond. The only current known potential to turn against this would be the failure of the upcoming Dragon Ball theatrical film set to release in December of this year, a movie revolving around Saiyans in particular. Now should this movie miss the mark and or be a financial failure, virtually all incentive to further an anime iteration would be eviscerated, so if anything, you could say that this movie will either lead to the making or breaking of the Dragon Ball anime dream. But assuming that Dragon Ball does return in anime form at a realistic yet ideal time, it is still entirely possible that we will never see another Dragon Ball Super episode. Which shouldn't work you up or anything, because that could be due to a sort of rebranding, indicative of a separated continuation. And I say this because the name Dragon Ball Super serves to reflect the generalized focus and or importance of the Super Dragon Balls, which were wagered in a battle against the twin universes of 6 and 7, used by Zamasu in his plots and as the ultimate prize looming over the Tournament of Power, which at this point will be the climactic end of the series. So maybe the journey for the Super Dragon Balls is over. And yeah, of course there is still the whole Dragon God Zalama thing we've yet to completely explore, but will the Super Dragon Balls themselves still be a priority after the Tournament of Power? Only time will tell. And I mean certainly, a rebranding is by no means a necessity. But doing so would ideally invoke more attention to the product they'd be attempting to sell. It's sort of like how in the video game world, you'll see an upgraded version of a pre-existing console sporting additional words like slim, x, or even just the word new. And this sort of thing happens all the time with anime, especially in the case of a time skip. Think of Naruto to Naruto Shippuden, or simply Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z. A seemingly minor change with a plethora of potential benefits. But I mean whatever the case may be, as it stands, we have a lot of potential avenues to explore. The mastery of Ultra Instinct, Planet Sadala of Universe 6 and its king, the six universes erased prior to the Tournament of Power and why exactly they were erased to begin with, the four universes exempt from the Tournament of Power, the appearance of Oob, the timeline future Zeno left behind, the end of Z, a battle of gods rematch between Goku and Beerus, Frieza's plans, and just so, so much more that it is absurd. And that's only based on information that we have at our disposal now. Just imagine what they can unveil when something new comes forth. And you know, if everything works out and Dragon Ball is able to return in anime form with good timing, Strategically, this could all be huge, monumental even. I mean, with the show being away, the gap between the English dub and the Japanese release could become smaller, bringing us even closer to the potential of a simul dub, which could just be insane to say the least. And there is of course the manga iteration, which could not only catch up to the anime, but possibly go further beyond. And in regards to that, I must say that although I'm rather fond of the anime being ahead while the manga takes an alternative spin on the events of the series, I have to admit that flipping the dynamic around would be far more financially sound, at least on paper. Because as it stands, for the overwhelming majority of fans, the manga is an afterthought. If you happen to be craving more super content despite already receiving a weekly dosage, then hey, the manga is your additional fix. But by placing the manga before, 
coupled with events yet to appear in the anime, viewers have far more of a reason to check it out. And in this scenario, the manga becomes the initial pit stop of an avid Dragon Ball Super fan's journey. After all, anime typically serves as a sort of additional commercialization of a manga iteration, attracting more eyes, bringing them back to the primary source. And building off of that point, the manga being ahead of the anime would certainly impact the current dynamic of the YouTube and Twitter Dragon Ball community in some regard, simply because the allure of Dragon Ball spoilers would diminish, which to me is a rather interesting predicament particularly for content creators. Because frankly, videos relating to upcoming episode spoilers do well for a lot of people, and so it's sort of a shame that all of that could change. And mind you, at this point in time, I'm saying this mostly as a viewer because I myself have only created a handful of Dragon Ball videos so far. But with that being said, in a sense, this entire advent could serve to be a sort of YouTube Dragon Ball purge, clearing the board and leaving behind the best that the community has to offer, because without a series on air, this is going to be a struggle for a lot of people who prioritize this series as their main staple for their channel. But with that, I want to remind you that all Dragon Ball fans are built for this. We went ages without any sizable amounts of new and consistent content for the series. So if you have been in the Dragon Ball fandom for a while, this isn't really anything new and it's definitely not something that we can't get through, so stay strong. And in the comments, let me know where you would personally like the Dragon Ball franchise to go from here in terms of the anime, and what potential plot points would you like to see the most? I'm really curious. Anyways. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.